what up everybody welcome back to another episode of what the truck and we're here today with kyle Kraft and his crazy den side what the truck kyle well this is my 1978 uh, ford f-250 ranger uh i got a 73 front clip on because i liked it you know looks a little bit cleaner worked with the lights a little bit better uh we picked this truck up about four years ago uh, I was just gonna do like a little pre-runner project out of it. I'd seen a couple guys on Instagram doing the single cabs before, and I thought they looked beautiful, but I also thought the extended cab would look a little bit cooler. So I got it, I started tearing it apart. I put a cage in it, and then uh, my dad kind of stopped me on it, was like, no, let's, let's do this thing right. And so uh, the budget went up a little bit. We were just going to put, you know, 37s on it, put a LS3 crate motor in it, do some simple things, and then it kind of got wild from there. So what are, what are some of the things on here that, uh, that really took it to the next level? I mean, you know, from the outside looking at it, you're like, holy shit. But I don't know too much about this style of trucks as far as, you know, the off-road stuff. So I'd love to just learn. So uh, let's start with the motor package. We ended up going with a big block uh, Dugan's 575, I believe. Um, we wanted that motor because it translates with our trophy truck motors and when you're down in Baja, parts are scarce. So if you're out there free running this thing and you know you're on race day and you have a problem, we could have pulled something off of this truck and used on that. And that was kind of the theme behind the whole build is backup parts for my race trucks. So we put in the big power plant, we put in the big transmissions. Uh, I put a 4L80E in it uh, by uh, Rancho Drivetrain. Then uh, we went to the big shocks. I got King uh, 4.5 bypasses in there along with 3.0 coilovers. So everything's the same that the trophy truck's running. Uh, we've got the big trophy truck hubs on this thing. I got 40 inch tires. I got my ultra beadlock wheels. Just kind of everything that a trophy truck's got is what went into this whole thing. Um, we what ended kind up, of power is the motor pushing? I believe the motor's got on regular 91 pump gas. This motor's completely detuned, you know, to be super safe when it, uh, I believe it's got about 850 horsepower. Man, you say that like it's nothing. <laughs> trophy trucks are a little bit higher, but, but yeah. No, this motor, if you, if you tuned it up right and you put in race gas, you're over a thousand horsepower. Wow, dude. This thing freaking power D. It's uh, it's a little scary. So what what kind of uh, what's the body on it? Like uh, I know the cab's original. What kind of front end rear end do you have on there? So basically, uh, we went to McQueen and we had uh, custom fiberglass made for the whole car. Um, it's based on their '76, I believe, uh, molds that they had. And. Then I went to Blitz Creek uh, off-road out of Westminster, and I had them design uh, the I-beams for the car, the rear end, and then the uh, four links. This thing looks so serious. So how long does it take to go from how it looks now to all the body panels off? So they can tear this car apart in about two days. It takes about two days. To do a full prep on this vehicle, it's about 220 hours. Wow. And that's taking this thing down to the bare frame, everything's out, and then re-putting it all back together. Every fluid, every bolt gets checked, everything. Every heim, every bolt, every wire, everything. How often do you guys do that? So on pre-runners, typically every 5,000 miles. So a whole season, it'll last me. On a race truck, every race. Oh, wow. Yeah. And how long do you guys usually have between races? We have usually about a month. Okay, so pretty much exact amount of time you would need. The exact amount of time. It always comes right down to the wow. wire too. No, nothing ever seems to get done early. Yeah. <laughs> and then what are, you, what are you doing on the interior over here? Well, so we did a full pre-runner uh, inside. I got two GPSs in the car. I got my Motex monitoring all the engine and uh, basically every temperature, everything you could think about in the car. I've got all sorts of sweet electronics from heated seats down to cruise control. Wow. Uh, tire pressure monitoring systems. Just And you're running a full Motex system, you think? Full Motex. Hell yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's so bad. So back here, 
We've uh, got our spare tire, obviously. We've got a spare drivetrain. When you're out there, you ding a lot of stuff. Things come up, rocks you didn't see. It's always good to have one of those. I've got a full toolbox in the back that they designed all sleek, so you can't really see it. Obviously, I got my two fire extinguishers. Fires, the worst thing that could happen in off-road, so that's always good. Right here, we've got a full uh, race-style dry brake system that allows the car to be filled with 110 gallons in less than 36 seconds. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Man, where's that at the truck stop? Kind of overkill, <laughs> but it's cool to have. Yeah. So you have to have like special pressurized tanks? Yeah, so we have these things called pressure pros and they're basically a 200 gallon cylinder that you attach CO2 to. And then you just stab it and Dang. Yeah. Probably has some really cool sounds too, huh? <laughs> sounds are the best part. Oh yeah. Where would you like to go from here? Um, tell me a little bit about like the rear suspension. Perfect. So under here, we've got a nine inch, uh, I believe ID designs rear end. Same thing that's on the trophy truck, all interchangeable. Right here, we've got our tire pressure monitoring systems that talk to the wheel, basically tells you how hot it is, what the pressure is. Right here, we've got our limit straps. This thing is strapped at, uh, I believe 32 inches of rear travel. Four link sway bar, all the wiring. Dude, that is a thick sway bar. Oh yeah. And you're running, it looks like Brembo brakes. Brembo brakes, of course, you gotta have the best. Dang. It's so nice on the outside, it looks like you don't even use it. Like, how do you keep it like that? We really don't. <laughs> the design was, you know, we go down, we'll pre-run in this thing, but it just kind of turned into a, a work of art that uh, we're afraid to get. So just run it around the camp? Pretty much. It'll go pre-run when I need it to, but I try to keep it to a minimum. When we head down to Baja this year, that'll be its first real test. Uh, the car's been done now for almost two years. Okay. And I still think it might have less than a thousand miles on it. Wow. Yeah. That's a little bit lighter than usual. <laughs> Man, that must make doing all changes easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. So this is the heart of the whole truck. Uh, like I said, it's a big block Chevy. We're gonna get some haters for that, I'm sure, but. Where's their pre-runner? <laughs> right. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, this, is, uh, this was a plumbing nightmare. Uh, most pre-runners you see will have, you know, the radiators in the back, pumps in the back, better airflow, but. We wanted to keep this truck super clean, not a bunch of stuff in the way, kind of keep it really slick. So we piled everything up front and uh, it was a little bit of a nightmare for the plumbing guy, but it is beautiful. Heck yeah. And uh, I, you mentioned before, but you didn't really talk about them. What kind of lights are those? Because I think a lot of guys so are going to love here, them. So in here, I've got two KC HID off-road lights. And then up top, I put in the Baja Designs uh, light bars as a little bit of extra light. I have a bumper that goes on right here for when I'm doing a lot of night free running with four or more of these big KCHIDs and it lights up the night. Nice. Hell yeah. Dude, this thing is so crazy looking. Man, I can't wait to see some videos of you out this year at Baja with this. It's gonna probably be crazy. It's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm excited to let it loose. Oh. I finally got to really uh, drive it about a month ago when I had SDG, those are my shock tuners. They designed the whole shock. Well, King makes it all. I like to have SDG do all their little magic to it. Yeah, calibrating and, it. Oh yeah, and it was a pleasure. I mean, five foot whoops, we're doing 100 miles an hour through wow. like nothing. Wow, dude, that's crazy. What do you guys have on the headers? I see it's got that really cool finish. It's just a heat coat. Uh, these things get extremely hot, and especially with the temperatures that we're running and how tight everything is, it's a uh, it's a coating that keeps the heat down and you know prevents it from getting in the cab. Mm. Well, I'm gonna gawk over this thing a little bit more, and I'll pick the camera up in a second.
elegant way to hop in. No. You guys probably won't be able to hear us whatsoever, but we got the headsets on. We're gonna go for a ride and bring you guys along. Let's do it. So this is like a full on party. Modern creature comforts.
freaking madman behind the wheel. As always, if you can, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, comments, drop them down below. Make sure to check him out on Instagram, and uh, that's it. We'll catch you in the next one. See you later.